everyone so today I just have a real quick haul for you guys I just got back from Goodwill and Dollar Tree and got a few things I got all of this for about $20 I spent seven at Goodwill and then I spent 12 at no I bet <laughs> I spent seven at Dollar Tree and then I spent 12 at Goodwill and then some change so probably about exactly 20 bucks on all of this which I think is pretty amazing and a really good deal for someone who likes to shop like me and um let's take a look so first we'll start off with Goodwill um I got four books and then one shirt um while I was there so uh we can look at the shirt first it's brand new it's by Calvin Klein oops there we go so you can see the tags right here um, I thought this was so pretty. I really like the color of it. You can roll the sleeve and then it's just like a long shirt and then I guess you can tie it in the middle. I don't know if you can see there but um, I figured I'll probably just tuck that in. I probably won't tie that in a knot but um, anyways I just thought it was really pretty color and it was brand new for $5.99 and can't really beat that I think. Um, I love buying clothes from Goodwill because you can always find great themes like that. I have found tons of J. Crew at ours and just some really good expensive brands for hardly anything. So um, I just love going there. I don't know about y'all. I know I have a lot of friends who do not like shopping at Goodwill because they don't like wearing other people's clothes, but I've never had that issue at all. If it saves me money, I'll do it, <laughs> basically. Um, okay, and since. So for the books that I got, I decided last year that I would only buy books that um, I loved, to, I, that I loved, um, that I've already read. I really wanted, I found, I was finding that I was buying just random books um, instead of actually looking to see what the reviews were and stuff like that. So I was spending a lot of money on books and I love to read. So um, I started going to the library this past year. Sorry, my cat is being so annoying. See, hi, Justin. See, I just wanted to be on camera. She's so not amused, but she's driving me crazy. Okay. So anyways, so I started going to the library more and just checking out the books that I've been wanting to read rather than spending the money on them because books can be pretty expensive. I was going to half price, but they were still kind of expensive for just like random books to read. So now I only buy books that um, I have already read and love and that I want to read again. So that's why I buy them. Or, um, they're just books that I've heard nothing but good things about. So, um, the first book that I got is The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Anyway, so, cat, go away. Okay. So the first book I got was The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. Um, this was a really good book. You probably don't recognize this cover of it. This cat! Anyways, you probably don't recognize this cover, um, cause I don't. This is not the cover of it when I read it from the library, but, um, I really enjoyed both her books. It was this one and, um, Big Little Lies is the other popular book that she read. So I guess I'm just gonna have my cat's tail in the middle of this picture. She wants to sit on my lap. I recognize the book that looks a lot like Big Little Lies. They are not the same book. They are not a sequel or anything. They're just written around the same time I guess um, but they look very similar but this is not the right this is not the cover of the popular book that everybody has been <laughs> reading I guess I don't know how to describe it but anyways it's a really good book I really enjoyed it it's a chiclet um, fun quick read uh, but anyways I got it because I want my mom to read it um, she had not read it yet and we have very similar tastes in books so it's just a quick chiclet read Loved it. I think this was 99 cents or something. You can't beat that. It actually has the price on it still for $14.99. So I saved $14 on this book. Okay, the next book I got, I have not read. It's by Jillian Flynn. It's called Sharp Objects. Um, it got really good reviews. I'm not sure if this one is being made into a movie, if it's her other one that's being made into a movie. But she is the author of Gone Girl. Um, I've reviewed that book before on here. I've done other book reviews, so if y'all want to watch those or anything, I'll link them somewhere on the screen or below. But, um, so I'm really excited to read this book, especially if it's going to be made into a movie. 
Um, I'm going to be really, really excited about that. But it got good reviews. Let me know in the comments below if you've read it. Um, I'm really excited to read it. And it's paperback, so it's only 99 cents. So, yay! And let's see here. The third book that I got is called 1,000 Gifts. Um, I have not read this book either. But, I mean, I have seen so many people review this book and love in it. And I read about it and I was like, okay, this is totally something that I want to read. Um, so this is a Christian book, but, uh, which I'm fine with, but, um, anyway, I'm just really excited to read it, see what it's about. I can't remember what it's about because I, people were reviewing it probably a year or so ago, but, um, anyway, picked it up for $1.99. Can't beat it. And then the fourth and last book that I got is Mockingjay. Yes, I am a Hunger Games person. I did not think I was going to be a Hunger Games person at all. Um, I watched the first movie before I read the book and I hated it. <laughs> and I just could not understand why kids would be killing kids and why this is a fun movie. But um, anyway, so I was... I can't remember what I was doing, but for some reason, I ended up reading the first book, the actual Hunger Games, online, and I it just sucked me right in. <laughs> it was like a black hole. I just never, I went in and I never turned back. And um, so I love all the movies now. I went and rewatched it, and now that I like read it and understood why they were doing what they were doing and all that kind of stuff, I absolutely loved it. Um, Catching Fire is my favorite, and that is the one book that I don't have. I now have Hunger Games and Mockingjay, but I don't have Catching Fire, which <laughs> is kind of annoying, because I have the first and the last book, but not the middle book. But, um, anyways, I've been really wanting to have the whole trilogy. I got the Hunger Games at a garage sale for a dollar, and then I got this one for a dollar ninety-nine. So, I'm two-thirds of the way there and only spent three dollars, so I think I can deal on that. <laughs> um, okay, so... On to Dollar Tree. I didn't get anything too fantastic, but I thought I'd show y'all anyways. Um, get the boring stuff out of the way first. I got sandwich bags. <laughs> um, we don't go through these very quickly, but we did just run out of ours, and I found the um, I found these ones there. This is the brand we normally do, the Glad Wear, I guess it was called. I don't know. Anyways, uh, it was a dollar, so I got 22 little sandwich bags. So that's exciting news. <laughs> okay. And then um, I got some microfiber cleaning towels. Um, I've started using these around our house and I actually really like them. I know a lot of people don't like the texture or the feeling of them. My husband is one of those people, but I don't mind it at all. Um, I think they clean really well. I actually have found like my soul sister on YouTube. Um, when I talked about my celiac disease, uh, someone pointed, one of my subscribers pointed me in the right direction, or in the right direction now, uh, in the direction of how Jen does it, and I think it's, I think that's her, sub, I think that's her YouTube video. Anyways, and she's all about cleaning and organizing and saving money, and she's gluten free. Uh, so we are like the same person, and so I've been like binge watching all her videos, and I saw that she uses tons of microfiber towels, so... Um, that also motivated me to get more and y'all know I love to clean and to organize so I just am just like on a cleaning organizing uh, I just can't like I cannot organize and clean enough right now <laughs> I am one of those crazy people I know my husband just like watches me in amazement that I'm just cleaning everything right now but it's awesome I love it so anyways and then the rest of the stuff I got was makeup related. I got this e.l.f. fan brush. Um, I am aware that e.l.f. is normally a dollar, but uh, I had not seen this before. That's what it looks like. <laughs> you have to focus. Um, I think you like can rub this in highlighter and then you just kind of like highlight your cheekbones. I don't know, but it looked fun and so now I'm going to play with it because y'all know I love makeup. So, And you can't beat a dollar. And then, what else did I get? Oh, I got another e.l.f. thing. I got a smudge pot. This is brownie points. I've heard really good things about this one. I have another one. I can't remember what the color is, though, um, what the color is called. 
trying to get this open. Anyways, let's see here. Yeah, this is brownie points. It's just like a shimmery brown. But it's, I don't know. I've just heard really, really great things about it. It feels really nice. <laughs> see if you can see it. I am not a makeup guru, so sorry if you don't like my swatches. Okay. So anyways, that's fun. Uh, that's for... Uh, it says you can use it as a hot as a highlighter. You can use it as an eyeliner or eyeshadow. So I'm going to be playing around with that. And then the thing I was most excited about a Dollar Tree was they had these NYC um, lipsticks, the Expert Last lipsticks. I got three of them. I actually just watched um, a YouTube video on these where she swatched them all and she loved them. And I was like, a dollar. I mean, I know NYC is typically very cheap but um i don't know i was just really excited about this so uh you can't really can't beat a dollar in this lipstick and i like wearing lipstick so i thought i would give these a try and just see i have two of them already um two different colors i didn't get the same colors but i got um sugar plum flirty and blue rose so let's see what these look like Oh, that's really pretty. That's Sugar Plum right there. And all my swatches aren't very close. I got a new camera, and I cannot figure out <laughs> how to keep it focused. <laughs> but anyways, that's really pretty. That's Sugar Plum. And then that's the elf thing. Okay, so this is Blue Rose. Ooh, that's bright. Really pretty, though. That's Blue Rose. So it has like a tint of like a bluish purple to it. It's really pretty. I don't know if y'all can see this on there or not. So this might be pointless. And then third color I have here is Flirty. So these are all pinks. That's Flirty right there. On the camera it looks like it's very close to Blue Rose, but it's really not in person. Um, it's actually more pinky. And then Flirty Rose has that blue-purple tint to it. But anyways, I think that's pretty good. These were a dollar each, and I think they probably retail for over a dollar. So they're probably at two dollars or so. So um, I think I did pretty good at Dollar Tree. I was really excited about it. And um, yeah, now I'm ready to go play a little bit and clean up my mess because... Ugh. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you have read Sharp Objects. I'm very curious. I want to finish my book. I'm reading You Before Me Right Now by Jojo... It starts with an M. Myers, maybe? I'm not sure. It's a very popular book also, and I'm loving it, but I'm ready to finish it so I can start these books. But anyways, um, thank y'all so much for watching and for subscribing and continuing to support me here and leaving comments and stuff. I love hearing from you guys. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed these kinds of hauls, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.